This simple and easy tutorial will show you how to qualify for two airdrops in one, both Hyper Swap and Hyper Liquid. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. And to begin with, we are currently on the Hyper Swap exchange. And for those who haven't seen our tutorial, we also covered the Hyper Liquid airdrop round two tutorial of which we've got two parts. The first part covers the Hyper Liquid exchange and the second part covers mostly the Hyper EVM ecosystem. And therefore, we are now focusing on one protocol within the Hyper EVM ecosystem known as Hyperswap. And that is, of course, going to qualify us for both the Hyperswap airdrop and, of course, the Hyper Liquid airdrop, which we are going to be using Hyper EVM, which may be one of the eligibility requirements. So what we want to do is we want to first launch open the application. We want to ensure that we've got our wallet set up. And, of course, you've got some hype tokens, which you can see we've got 1.6 hype tokens. Nonetheless, if you need more tokens, you'll be able to find out how to get some through the Hyper Liquid airdrop round two tutorial. And, of course, the first part. Nonetheless, what we want to do is once you confirm that you've got this step done, we now want to get ourselves logged in. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Once we are in, as you can see, we have now got our tokens loaded up on the right hand side. I've already got my hype tokens here and it says I've already got USDT zero. Now to earn the airdrop for Hyper EVM and Hyper Liquid, for example, we already know how to do that. We just need to conduct transactions on both Hyper Liquid Exchange and of course the Hyper EVM ecosystem, which we are going to be doing through Hyperswap. So that's easily how we can explain how to qualify for Hyper EVM. As for Hyperswap, if we go over to the points section, once it loads up, you'll be able to see the ecosystem points program, track your progress and join the Hyperswap points program. So Hyperswap beta and Hyperswap here, guys, you can see all the points that have ended on the Hyperswap beta. Nonetheless, Hyperswap points details. All you need to do is first get yourself a unique username ID and start earning points as you navigate on Hyperswap. So once we're here, we just need to very simply get ourselves a Hyperswap username. So simple. For example, it could be Theo, it could be John Wick, it could be very simply Tony Soprano, it could be Aragon, it could be Gandalf, whatever you want. I'm going to do Theo. Once you have done that, here it says this username already exists. So I just need to very simply choose another username. This time I'm just going to do Hi Crypto Guy because I know no one's got this name. I can pretty much guarantee it. Nonetheless, once you confirm this, you'll see that it's going to load up. It's going to come up with that little thing. And then now we can see that we are officially in and on the points program. I have not done any single transactions as this username. So you can see I've got zero points and that places us 26,098th in the world. Guys, that's honestly not too bad. Therefore, there are not many people farming this protocol. And this means that this airdrop could be pretty good considering that they've got a pretty decent TVL and daily volume count. And therefore, this could grow absolutely massively, especially by the time the Hyper EVM airdrop goes live. This could be a leading DEX and then hopefully their token goes live and we see a nice juicy airdrop. So all you need to do is get yourself some points. You can also refer your friends just to let you know. But to earn points, we're just going to very simply start trading. And first step, why don't we just start swapping some hype tokens? Let's just say we swap 0.1 hype tokens into USDT0, a token that I've already got in my wallet and is a stable coin of which can help us qualify for the layer zero airdrop. Just by swapping into it, I don't think it's going to make us eligible. But if you do bridge it from layer zero, for example, X, Y, and Z, you'll be good to go. But you can see I've already got some tokens, but be careful which tokens that you do have in your wallet if you don't recognize them, just to let you know as a security measure. Remember, we're not financial advisors. We do not give any financial advice. Always conduct your own research and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. But I'm just going to swap these tokens once I'm ready, as you can see. The transaction is on its way. Once it's done, you'll see that we have more USDT zero, $12.43 to be precise. What's next? If you go to the point system, you'll notice that the points will be updated every Sunday at 10 p.m. PST. So whatever time that is in your part of the world, just make sure that you come back every Sunday and check how many points you've earned. You just need to swap and provide liquidity and you'll get yourself some points. And of course, guys, as you'll know, just by referring your friends, you can also get some points. But now that you can see that we've performed a swap, you can very simply just perform as many swaps as you like, whether or not that's into USDC or whatever tokens are available on the Hyperswap exchange, you can see a huge list. But before we show you how to swap any other tokens, what we want to do is we want to head over to the explore section up top. 
And once you're here, you'll be able to explore all of the different liquidity pools within the HyperSwap DEX. We know that there's already a $77.44 million TVL. So there's probably some big liquidity pools. For example, we've got Hype with L-Hype, we've got Hype with Staked Hype, we've got Hype with UBTC, and you can see all of these are the top liquidity pools. So you can see a $12.15 million TVL. You can see the $11.24 million TVL, a $7.9 million TVL. But what you will also notice is that each and every one of these pools gives you points. However, some of the pools will give you 5x multipliers such as this hype to UBTC, such as this hype to UETH. Guys, honestly, there's different pools which will provide you with different amounts of points. However, bear in mind there are obviously risks when providing liquidity, as we all know with Cetus, if you didn't know what happened there, I would recommend you do your research. That is a clear example of what can happen with smart contracts and the world of crypto. So please, 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 please be extra cautious when, of course, exploring DeFi. But for those who are aware and just want to do this in order to earn the airdrop, all you would need to do is first choose a liquidity pool. Now, to start off with, I'm going to go with hype to stake type. So all I need to do to participate in that pool is very simply get myself some stake type before we can begin. Now, you could swap your USDT zero if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my hype tokens from up top and down below, I'm going to choose the token as staked hype. So if I find staked hype, as we can see, we've got it here. All we need to do is now choose an amount to swap into. Depending on how much you want to provide in liquidity or just holding staked hype, it's entirely up to you. The more you can do, the more points that you will earn, of course, and the more volume that you can conduct on the decks by trading, the more points you will earn. But let's just say, for example, I did 0.2 hype into staked hype. I'm going to get roughly the same amount, just one cent less, give or take. I'm going to very simply swap it. That is two swaps that we've done on this decentralized exchange already. Fantastic. And we are now on our way to provide liquidity. So we just need to wait for the tokens to come into our wallet, the staked hype, which has already been completed. Absolutely fantastic. Next, we go back into the explore section. We're going to scroll down and we're going to see that we've got hype to stake hype. Next, I'm going to go to the section where it says add liquidity. I'm going to very simply now select the token pair, hype to stake hype, I confirm. Next, you'll see a pool of which you will choose the fee tier. However, guys, this is very important to understand 0.01% is best for very stable pairs. And this is more of a stable pair, I believe. However, you'll be able to see that we've got 0.05%, 0.3% and 1%. But below that, you'll be able to see how much volume is conducted in each day for each of these fees. So, for example, we've got $1.5 million for the 0.01% fee, and we've got only $1.50 for the 0.05% fee, X, Y, and Z. But for us, I'm just going to go with the 0.01% fee because it has the highest volume. And of course, it's still going to generate us some points. Next, you can choose your range, my friends. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave it with max range. However, if you would like to configure your ranges, it's entirely up to you. I'm not going to go through that. This is just simply a tutorial on how to qualify for the airdrop. So next, all we need to do is choose an amount that we want to put in. It could be the entire amount. It could be not the entire amount. It could be $1. It could be $1,000, whatever you want it depends on your budget and how big of an airdrop you want to qualify for hyper swap and of course hyper liquid slash hyper evm so i'm just going to very simply do staked hype and hype if you wanted to guys you could actually do a single asset zap me personally i don't really like it so i'm just going to continue with what i'm doing so once we're done you'll see that we've completely finished that transaction and we have now provided liquidity therefore if we go into the pool section up top and choose view positions if for example you refresh the page you'll see that we have now got our stake type to hype liquidity pool if at any time you wanted to add more or remove it you could very simply manage it and you'll see here that we've got our options of which we can claim our fees that we've generated from people swapping stake type and hype that means that we're going to earn some rewards on the way to our airdrop of course However, if you wanted to add more, you just very simply add liquidity and go through the same process. If you want to remove it at any time, remove liquidity and choose the percentage or the amount that you want to remove. It will then go straight back into your wallet, the tokens that you've put in, guys, and therefore you have complete freedom to remove it at any given time. But please bear in mind there are risks such as impermanent loss and many others that you should be aware of, so please do your research beforehand. However, my friends, like it said here, we want to wait every single Sunday for our points to update. 
but the main purpose of this is just to very simply swap back and forth provide as much liquidity as you possibly can obviously conduct as much volume as you possibly can because the volume is going to get you higher up the leaderboard in my opinion and the more liquidity that you can provide the better off you will be for points liquidity pools are the key to a decentralized exchange and therefore they are incentivizing users by providing points on the liquidity pools and boosters such as the 5x ones that you saw and therefore it might be better to choose those it depends on of course your risk tolerance and of course your airdrop strategy all in all but for me guys this is exactly what i'm doing for now i'm just going to be swapping back and forth back and forth i'm just going to be providing as much liquidity as possible and if of course i do want to provide liquidity for i don't know the hype ubtc i may just do so to earn that 5x multiplier on the points that may take us up the leaderboard a long way just by providing a smaller amount it's entirely up to you guys but please bear in mind there are many risks when doing so however we are now just going to be focusing on climbing up that leaderboard every single sunday checking back in and of course earning as many loyalty and hyper swap points as possible now after this guys there's one last thing we can do if you head over to the earn section we've got staking now here guys you can choose to stake tokens and earn small amounts of rewards you can see an apy of six percent an apr of 2.1 percent and an apy which has got a target of roughly 10 percent but of course this comes with other risks guys it's entirely up to you if you wanted to do this you could do a fraction of an amount just to say that you've got it and that you're trying to qualify for the airdrop whatever you want to do guys it's entirely up to you i'm not actually going to do this one to be honest with you i'm going to basically focus on the swapping and the providing of liquidity because i personally believe these are the most two important factors now more on the points program if we head over to the points program you'll see on the documentation that we've got a clear guide on how you can earn points so here it says use hyperswap to swap provide liquidity earn yield and optimize capital efficiency our goal is to distribute points to real users who actively contribute to hyperswap earn points based on your activity position size and duration Check the leverage pools on the explore page for special opportunities to accumulate more points. And I believe those were the ones with the multipliers. So guys, the longer that you're providing liquidity, the higher that your multiplier will go and the more points that you will earn. That's what it pretty much says. However, it depends on which ones that you want to provide liquidity for guys. Here you can even see this hype to USD XL gets you 10x HyperFi points, which in the future will provide you with a HyperFi airdrop. We've also got Kaiko points here, but the main focus is guys, as you can see is duration, position size, activity, and swapping, providing liquidity and earning yield of any way that you can also inviting your friends earns you 10% of the points they generate through liquidity provision and swap volume therefore like I said volume is a key indicator on how to get the biggest and best airdrop possible for those who are swapping $10 at a time for example I'm not going to do as well that I'm swapping $1,000 at a time I know that's unfortunate but friends that is just the way it works the program will approximately run for 10 weeks However, guys, I don't know when exactly that started. That may be just referring to their beta program, which we sadly missed. We've now, of course, got our new program, so we are just waiting to see. Nonetheless, guys, go through this all, read it all yourself. In the future, I'm assuming they'll update their documentation, and in the future, I'm assuming we'll get an update on the token airdrop. But, of course, this is nicely helping us qualify for the Hyper EVM airdrop as well. So come on here a few times a week, maybe two times a day, three times a day, maybe even ten times a day, split up between a few hours. The more you can do that, the better off you will be for both airdrops. But, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in to every other airdrop that we have on our YouTube channel. We have got 63 videos and counting my friends so please tune in and we can't wait to see you in the next video